All right, in this video, we're going to cover editing text and links in Show It. So this is really similar to any other word processor, um, such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You can select any text box, you double click, and then you can add, delete, edit text, um, just like, again, you would in any word processor. You wanna make sure that anytime you're editing text that you're taking a look at it in mobile and in desktop, just to make sure nothing is crashing into other objects on the page. All of the styling for your text is over here in the properties panel on the right. So you can click text style and you can see that you can change um, color, you can change size, alignment, um, and a bunch of other settings. One important thing to note when you're editing text is that any element can have properties that are the same on mobile and desktop and others that are set to be customized. So for example, when I click on this text box right here, you can see that the size of the text has these two little um, divided tabs right here, meaning that this is 46 point size on desktop and it's only 34 point size on mobile. However, you don't see these um, above the color, meaning that both of these text boxes are set to be the same color, same with alignment, um, they're both set to be center aligned. So you can choose on a element by element basis whether you want these settings to sync or whether you want them to stay independent. And this is handy because it just cuts down on the number of times that you have to adjust things uh, in both views, but then also gives you the flexibility if there's something that does need to be different. So most elements will have the versions synced by default, um, but if you want to separate them at any point, you just hover over the element. There's these little three dots that pop up and you can say split mobile and desktop. If you want to merge them together, you can decide whether you want to merge using the mobile setting or merge using the desktop setting. Whichever you do will force the other one to match. So if I say merge using desktop right here, it's going to make this the size that uh, the text is on desktop. If you need to add new text, the easiest thing to do is to copy and paste text that's already existing um, and st is styled the way that you want your new text to look. So for instance, if I wanted something to look like this, but I wanted it to be you know, down on this canvas, um, I just hit Command C to copy it, and now I'm gonna hit Command V to paste it. Um, and now you see that I have a new version of this type that I could edit to say something different, and it's already styled the way that I want it to be. The other way that you could um, add new text is to go down here and you can select from these um, preset styles, and these are set according to the master styles of your page. So for instance, if I click heading, um, it's going to put this um, heading styling in here, and then I can, again, go ahead and edit the text, move it around, um, add it to a different canvas, that kind of thing. For any text on your site that doubles as a link or a button, you can edit it by selecting the text box and then going over here in the properties panel down to click actions. So this is basically whatever this text is linked to is going to show right here. So right now it's linked to a page on our site. If I wanted to open this up, I could choose a different page. You could also set this to go to a certain canvas on this page or another page. You could set it to go to a social link, um, a URL, which is gonna be something that's on a different domain that's not yours. And you could also have it um, open up an email or a phone call. You wanna make sure whenever you're editing a link that's also a button, you need to edit both the box or the button and the text. So you can see what I have when I have this text highlighted right here. If I go over here and I change this, say to go to the services page, and then I click on the box, it's still set to contact. So I have to manually update both of those things to make sure that the button as a whole is going to work and go to the right place when somebody clicks on it. To add or edit a link that's within a text box, you're gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, you'll double click on the text box and then highlight the text that should be linked. And right here in this little toolbar that pops up, you're gonna see this little link button. If you click that, it's going to bring up this dialog that looks very similar to the click actions um, box that we just looked at and it's gonna have all of the same options. So I, I can actually in here decide that I want this to go to the services page. I can save and then you can see that just that text is linked so when, when a person comes on the live site, um, they're going to be able to click on that and it's gonna take them to that different page. And if you ever wanna change the styling, what that looks like in the box, you can go back up here to text style and that's right here in inline links. So you can add an underline, you can change the color, um, sort of decide what you want that to look like. All right, now we're gonna talk about updating the navigation and the footer. So um, this applies to your top navigation, which is up here at the top of the page. 
your footer, which is down here at the bottom of the page. And on mobile, whenever you click on this little, um, those two lines right there, it's called a hamburger menu. It's going to open up this, um, and that's called your mobile menu. These are all site canvases. Um, and a site canvas is a block that's shared across multiple pages of your site. So this means that you only have to edit something once and it's going to update across all instances on all pages. So say you want to update something in the footer, I can just select this canvas. You're going to see this blue um, button pop up because it's letting me know that this is a site canvas. So I'm clicking to edit that. Um, I'm going to have to click twice here because this is actually a canvas set and I'll explain the difference in a minute. So I hit edit. I'm actually going to just zoom in so you can see. And then if I wanted to edit where this um, link goes, I could go ahead and make the change here. And then once I once it automatically saves, it's going to be updated on every page in my site. So you only have to touch these things once. Again, make sure that any changes that you're making, you're also making on mobile. A click action will actually update in both places automatically, but if you decide to change what this says or add a new link, um, you just need to make sure that you're taking care of that on mobile as well. You can also get to your site canvases anytime by scrolling down on the left hand side um, below the pages and you can see this says site canvases so I can see that here is my footer, um, here's my navigation, and then here's my mobile nav and I can make those changes um, independently in each of those three places. Okay, the last thing I want to cover is that your site canvases can be grouped together to create what's called a canvas set. So you access these right down here at the bottom of your site canvases. This is handy so that you can apply the same collection of site canvases, for example, navigation, mobile menu, footer, without having to go through and manually add them to each page. Especially if you have, like we do, a hundred pages on your website, going through and manually adding those site canvases on every page can be really daunting. So instead, you create a canvas set. So you'll see here, on this template, um, there's actually a dark and a light, and they're applied to different pages depending on what version of the navigation that page needs. So for instance, you can see on the home page, this is a full bleed photo that's up at the top of the page, so we need this to be light. However, on the about page, there is a light background, so we need this to be dark. So the way that we do that without, again, adjusting every page manually, is we go down here to the canvas set, and you can see over here on the right what pages this set is applied to and then you can go to the light and you can see which ones it's applied to as well you can also do this through the actual page settings so if i select home up in page info it's going to tell me which canvas set um, is assigned here so the way that you edit these canvas sets if needed as you go in here you again go over just like you would with the page so you can see what's inside of here it's going to let you put certain site canvases at the top and the bottom. Everything in the middle is going to be the content that you have on that page. And if you want to add something new, you just use this little plus sign right here and you can select which site canvases you want to add to this canvas set. A popular way to use this is to have an announcement bar. So sometimes um, we want to just put a promotion on certain pages. So for instance, we don't want um, to be advertising our services if you're already on our services page, but we do want it on our home page. So we'll create a canvas set um, that's just called announcement bar, and then we'll just apply it to the pages that we want the announcement bar to show up. Okay, so that was editing text and links and your navigation in Show It. Um, hope that was helpful and see you in another video.